Hi. Hello. So welcome to Discover Nursing with Dr. Patricia Sharpneck. She is our Dean of our Brain School of Nursing. And at this point, we will be hearing from um, my name is Emily Haggerty. I'm the Director of Admission. And so I'll just be moderating our discussion today and um, helping you out. If you have any questions, feel free to add those into our chat box. And we'll be sure to address all those at the end of the session. So at this point, I will turn it over to Dr. Sharpneck. Good afternoon. It's wonderful to have you all be here today. And I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to tell you a little bit about nursing and tell you a little bit about the Breen School of Nursing as well. And I, I want you to know it couldn't be at a better time, given the fact that we are dealing with social isolation, remote presence, and at the forefront of this are the nurses. And so you must be excited about joining their team in the future or near future, or if you're an R and a BSN student, hopefully you're in the, the trenches right now, but also looking forward to advancing your degree. You can move forward and we'll talk a little bit about the profession. And this year, 2020, is the 200th anniversary of who is considered the mother of nursing, Florence Nightingale. And so the World Health Organization designated this year as the year of the nurse and midwife. And we had many, many celebrations that we're not able to have right now because of what's happening with the COVID-19 crisis. However, I think her legacy couldn't be realized more than with what's happening now in healthcare. Because nurses are working at the top of their license. If you Google or look at YouTube right now, you can find videos of nurses who are at the forefront of taking care of these patients. Very similar to what Florence Nightingale did in Crimea, with diphtheria, with all of the diseases that they had to deal with. So we really are living her legacy in the year of the nurse right now. You can flip. All right, so you want to be a nurse. It is a wonderful job. I've been a nurse for 43 years this year, which seems like a, you know, just a short passing of time for me. And I will tell you that I'm thrilled my husband is a nurse, and I have two children who went to the Breen School of Nursing who are nurses, one who's um, a advanced practice nurse and at the doctoral level, and another one who's working for Medtronics in, he's going to be moving to San Francisco as a corporate manager. So it's a great job. They started off as graduates from the program, went to work at the great hospitals here in Cleveland, earned a wonderful salary, but were able to build on their careers with either, either advancing their education or through travel nursing or through different jobs. So it's wonderful. It's a wonderful opportunity because you meet incredible people, not just the patients you care for, but the entire healthcare team. So for me, that's been part of the perks of the job is to really have the opportunity to meet, network, and learn about so many people and touch their lives and make a difference. But most of all, it's an incredible identity. I think of myself as a nurse in all aspects of my life. I look at people differently. I have a more sensitivity to what's going on in the community. And so it makes you a little bit different than anyone else. And as I said, it's the year of the nurse, 2020, and we hope you'll consider being an Ursula nurse because we have a long history and a legacy of nurses that are leaders in this, not just in Ohio, but throughout the country. Yeah, thank you. So this is just our mission. It really talks about the fact that the Breen School of Nursing is committed in the Catholic tradition to a model of excellence and education in preparing students for their changing roles. And today the roles are changing pretty significantly. Governor DeWine just sent out a ton of legislation that has required our workforce to work at the top of their license. And what that means is our advanced practice nurses are working in an independent, in an independent fashion. Our nurses at the bedside are working at the top of their license doing all the things that they were educated and trained to do. And our graduate nurses who are in program, doctoral programs are doing the same in either research or in quality and evidence-based practice. So 
So our accreditation, just want to let you know, very important to make certain that your school is accredited. We are accredited by the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education. We just recently went through our most recent visit in this past September, and we came out of the, the survey without deficiencies. We also were recently reapproved by the Ohio Board of Nursing in June of this year, again, with no citations. We are a National League for Nursing member school, and what that means is our faculty and students have the advantage to getting resources from the National League for Nursing. And we were recognized by the National League for Nursing with a Hearst Award in 2013 for the fact that we have integrated the aging adult throughout the entire curriculum. We can move forward. So you can take it from me because I'm a graduate of Ursuline College as well. My R and a BSN came from Ursuline College. But these are comments actually from patients and our staff members, and just a couple of them. I will tell you that I get emails and letters at least every week from patients who have experienced the touch of an Ursula nurse. So some comments are Ursula nursing students are always better prepared, ask why, and are more engaged and professional than any other school of nursing. And that actually came from somebody from the hospital who's in management. Another quote came from a patient's mother. She said, my fragile child has been cared for by many Ursuline students and graduates. I can always spot an Ursuline nurse. They are compassionate and caring, but also smart, competent, inquisitive, and more times than not, knowing more than the doctors. And this was, she called me out of the blue. So understand that people in the community are impressed with the graduates of Ursuline College. And from College Factual, Ursuline College's nursing program was ranked number 39 nationwide and identified as one of the top 10% of the nursing programs in the United States. And we've been improving our position. We did it over 12 slots in the previous year, but over the years we have increased the recognition of the college. And considering that Ursuline College is number two in Ohio, that's considering all your big state schools, Ohio State, um, University of Cincinnati. So Ursuline College, because of its very student-centered environment, really does make a difference in the nursing world. Just want you to understand the framework by which you'll be educated if you become a student nurse at Ursuline. Always at the core of our education and our curriculum is the patient. So we focus on patient-centered, relationship-based care. We wanna make certain that we have a relationship with our patient and each other. We also have the quality and safety issues to address, professional nursing practice. One thing we always wanna make certain is that our students and our graduates are identified as professionals. Nursing informatics, communication key to being successful, evidence-based practice, and at the top of this is leadership. We expect whether you are graduate from our baccalaureate program or our doctoral program, that you are a leader out in the community. So, whoop, what happened there? Went backwards. Do we go back? We're back where we're supposed to be? Okay, thanks. So, Brain School of Nursing programs, you could Come to Ursuline College and stay here till you graduate with your doctorate. That's exactly what my daughter did. She came in, she received a second degree accelerated program degree because she already had another degree from Ursuline College. Um, but you could come in as a traditional baccalaureate student. And that includes both our pre-nursing and our traditional students. They come in under that format. We have an online R and BSN student. We have a second degree accelerated program and that's for students who already have a bachelor's degree in another field. We have our master's in nursing program and that is primarily our nurse practitioner tracks which include the acute and primary adult gerontology nurse practitioners. We have family nurse practitioners, psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner track. We also have a leadership online leadership master's program. We have a clinical nurse specialist track and we have two subspecialties. One is in the area of nursing education and the other is in the area of palliative care. 
and our doctor of nursing practice is an online program. So why would you choose Ursuline College? Faculty recognition, our faculty are focused on teaching. While they do teaching research and they do research, their primary goal is not to be doing research, it's to be teaching you as students. So when they're doing work in the field of, of research, it's primarily on how we can better teach and how we can better prepare our students to be effective nurses in the community. They serve on national to local boards. I'm currently uh, the recent past president of the Ohio Board of Nursing. I still sit on the Ohio Board of Nursing and I'm chair of their nursing education committee, as well as I am the supervisory member for the entire board. There are others. I sit on the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. And the advantage to the students is that I hear things first and I can bring them back to the faculty and we can begin to work on things so that our education <clears throat> process is better for you. We have national and regional award-winning faculty. We have faculty who have received the, the International Quality and Safety Award from, from the uh, Quality and Safety and Education of Nurses. We have faculty who have received the Ohio League for Nursing Award for Education Excellence. In fact, we are the only program that has had six full years of the faculty member being selected from Ursuline College. And we have faculty who have re received local awards such as advising awards for the students because we care enough to make sure that your education and that your advisement is at the level that you feel like you matter to us. We are leaders in preparing for the next generation of NCLEX. The NCLEX RN, which is the certificate or the licensure exam that you will take at the completion of your education here at Ursuline, has moved to what's called the NGN level. And that means our current NCLEX, which is wonderful and, and measures critical thinking, does not measure what you need to do when you go into practice. So our faculty have not only sit on committees preparing for this next generation of NCLEX, but our faculty has been preparing competency testing so that all of our students, even those who have entered now, who will be taking this NGN, will be doing this competency testing that will prepare them for the future and will prepare them to pass this exam. Our current NCLEX pass rates are about 96% which is very high. The state average is about 88%. And we do have something called a white coat blessing ceremony. Our students do get upon entry into their first clinical course. They have their white lab coats. We bless your hands and we also robe you to remind you that you're entering a profession that requires the utmost highest professionalism and rigor. Some other reasons, one thing that differentiates us from other programs is that all of our students become Team Step certified. And Team Step certification is a national program, it's actually becoming international, but it's a national program sanctioned by the American Hospital Association and the American Research and Quality Commission that teaches you as nurses to work with the team and also to develop the skills and strategies that you need to be effective as a leader in that team. In fact, our student nurses this week are going to be involved with an interprofessional education program with medical students from uh, Northeast Ohio Medical School. They'll be involved with uh, students from uh, Case Western Reserve Physicians Assistance. It will involve an incredible amount of uh, coordination but they're going to be doing this virtually since we now are dealing with the virtual presence. We're also an ATI full partner. What that means is that you have the resources that you need to be prepared for the NCLEX, to move forward with the, an NCLEX review at the completion of your program, and that all of the resources that are provided for you in this program are designed to help you not only pass the NCLEX, but be prepared for practice. We are one of the only schools that has a transition to practice immersion. Our program provides 180 hours of direct precepted experiences at the completion of the program. Every student gets that opportunity. 
It's not just the 10% highest grade point averages. It's every single student gets to work one-on-one -on -one with a practicing nurse so that they might begin that transition to practice early and oftentimes are hired for the unit that they select for this immersion process. As I men mentioned earlier, you have competency testing and that takes place at every level and in every clinical course. That means that not only are we testing you for you know, on the paper, pencil, or the online exam, but we're making certain that you are making decisions that will be effective when you are a nurse and when you take your next generation of NCLEX. Those of you who might be entering a pre-nursing program support system, that, that, in, that means students who have um, either a requisite that they do not have in terms of GPA or there is a, um, a uh, lower ACT score. We have both an, two advisors that help provide support to, that, to those pre-nursing students. And the difference in our pre-nursing program is that our students are automatically entered into our nursing program as long as they complete their prerequisites successfully. And then the most important thing is that we have a network, a legacy of Ursuline graduates. The executive chief nursing officer of the Cleveland Clinic is an Ursuline graduate. The vice president for university hospitals in Cleveland is one of our graduates. We have the, the um, chief nursing officer at Hillcrest is one of our graduates. And I could name one after another of our graduates who are holding leadership positions and positions of influence throughout this community and again throughout the United States. Our clinical sites are all over the city. We are fortunate enough to have every hospital with, affiliated with the Cleveland Clinic, University, and Metro Health. But we're also out in the community. We're with the Hispanic Senior Center. We're with the Rainbow Center in Midtown Corridor. We have research experiences with lead testing with the Cleveland School Metropolitan, Cleveland Metropolitan School District. We have perioperative experiences, one of only two schools in this region that provides our students with an immersion experience in the operating room, all the way from pre-admission testing to the uh, post-anesthesia care unit. So your, your experiences are very wide, very deep, and they provide you with a taste of what nursing is about and also help you decide where you might want to work. Our Nursing Resource Center is fantastic. It's where we help prepare you for practice. But some new resources that we have added this year include the Microsoft HoloLens, which we'll have a short little video here for you um, to look at. We have a vein finder, so things that they're actually using in the healthcare system, you actually have in the lab in a simulated format. We have ventilators, defibrillators. We have the high level simulation and mannequins. So high fidelity that those mannequins that talk to you, deliver babies for you, they're all there in our lab. And our faculty are well-versed and also well-trained in the ability to use those resources to help augment your education. Because while you learn a lot in the classroom, seeing it actually in practice and practicing it really make a difference in your ability to be an effective nurse. Okay, this next video is a, just a short video. We have both HoloLens patient and HoloLens uh, skeleton. I can't think of its name, but it, it'll show you in a minute. HoloLens human, I couldn't think of a name, HoloLens, we have two, two systems for you. And these are the faculty members who are actually learning how to manage this 
so they can use this in the classroom. So we have enough headsets for every student who comes into a classroom to work with the anatomy and physiology piece of it. So this is the hollow human. And you can add on systems, you can understand how, how heart failure works, but you actually wear these um, goggles, so to speak. And we also have the programs that include HoloLens patients. And that is actual patients that will be sitting like on the table or the desk near you. And we can see the symptoms that they have as diseases. And you can make decisions about what you need to do for the patient. And that's in the learning environment, in the safety of the learning environment. So we really are excited about this. We just received this um, uh, grant and and funding and uh, purchases and just finished orientation. So we're looking forward to actually implementing this in the classroom. Some other opportunities that we have, we have an honors program for those students who really, after their first semester of nursing or when they move into their first semester of nursing, have decided they'd really like to work with a faculty. And the faculty who mentor you are usually doctor, doctorally prepared, and they will help you with research, mentoring, volunteer activities, a project that you can put on your resume and share with future employers about how you accomplished a, a project in research. We have sent our students free of charge to Sigma Theta Tau International in Indianapolis. We have sent students to the Ohio League for Nursing presentations. We sent them all over the United States to have some opportunity to present their research. We also have student organizations. Our student nurses of Ursuline College, called SNUC, is very active. They are active with fundraisers and outreach into the community, as well as building relationships with other schools of nursing and being involved with the National Student Nurses Association, of which they're active members. We also send those students who are involved in this organization, a select number of them, get to attend both the NSNA, which is National Student Nurses Association, mid-year conference or end-of-year conference. So getting involved in the student organization from the first time you walk into the program is really important. Another thing, which is not on the slide, is our athletes. We have one of the largest athlete uh, nursing programs in this area. We are very comfortable working with athletes and adjusting our schedule so that they can meet both their athletic needs while maintaining the priority of being a nursing student. The program of studies, your nursing courses begins with your first soft or nursing courses begin with the sophomore year with the first clinical course. So the once you finish your prerequisites in your freshman year, you start right into the nursing program, and we start with clinical courses. Of course, we have a few labs before you get there so you don't get too nervous, but it's a great opportunity. And to your right, you can see the blessing ceremony. They're standing, getting their coats, and also getting their hands blessed. And as I mentioned before, we complete that program, our program, with a transition to practice clinical immersion in senior year. That allows every single student to have the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with a nurse. Now, if you're in the second degree accelerated program, which is again for students who are already uh, have a bachelor's degree in an, or a master's degree in another field, those students have an immersion for the majority of their entire education. So they work one on one with a nurse and we are the only program that has, they, they call that a dedicated education unit. We are the only program that offers that opportunity in the entire city. Last thing I want to share with you is that the Breen School of Nursing, it is community beyond the classroom. I have almost every student that I have worked with, I hear for back from them. I hear about what they're doing. One of our student nurses, Emily Atkinson, who, was, who I served as mentor for, in the, uh, she was an honors program student. She is currently in the reserves of the US Navy and she's been deployed to New York to work with the COVID crisis in New York. We have students who are all over the country, but they stay in touch with us and they stay involved. And our faculty really believe in once you've graduated from the program, you stay connected with us. You are part of our legacy and you are important to us. 
and it doesn't end with the time that you graduate. We hope that you always come back to us for your master's or doctorate, but regardless, we always want you to understand that you are part of a broader community that is deep within this community, the state, and this nation. Well, thank you, Dr. Sharpneck. Um, we do have some questions, and students, if you'd like to add more questions, if you type in Control H, your chat box will pop up and you can add those right there. But first off, um, are there any wait lists for our nursing program? There are no wait lists either for the pre-nursing or the nursing program. And again, I'll stress that while someone might be uh, admitted to the pre-nursing program, there are just some limitations. There's additional support that's provided for the pre-nursing students and some limitations on credit. So it might take a little bit longer to get through the program, but unless you fail courses, you are automatically accepted into the nursing program. So students aren't worried. I mean, we have had a lot of students transfer from other programs where they thought they were gonna get into the nursing program, had great GPAs, but because the competition was so high for those programs, they ended up being disappointed and having to, to um, either decide on changing their major, going through a whole nother major, and then coming back to us to get their bachelor or their bachelor's degree in the second degree program. So I encourage students to really look at acceptance rates and to be really certain that they wanna stay in that community as well. Because one of the advantages is if you're planning to come back home, the connections that our faculty and I have in the community really help in job placement because we have 100% job placement. And our students, our graduates are sought after. I have emails today from every single provider, healthcare provider in this area asking me about having students. They are interested in having their graduates be their nurses. Thank you. Um, some other questions, you talked a lot about the technology that our students um, have access to and about ATI testing software. And some of our students are curious, are there specific computers um, or um, technology that they should be bringing to campus if they are joining us in the fall? Definitely, I would say have a good computer with a webcam because you never know what's going to be happening with the, uh, with the COVID. But I think just having a good quality computer, those of you who, I mean, I, I'm literate in both Apple and in regular PCs, and I would say that probably the majority of the faculty have traditional uh, computers as opposed to Apple's, though we have some faculty. There's some transition with Apple computers to some of the different programs, or not programs, but PowerPoints and things like that, but all the faculty knows how to assist students in that. So I wouldn't be so worried just having a good quality working computer would be very, very beneficial. Yeah, so it sounds like it's really up to the student's preference, whatever right. makes them more comfortable working. Exactly. Awesome. Another question that I had for you, um, can you, you, you talked about how we have a lot of um, student athletes at, that are nursing students. Um, can you talk about the opportunities within the residence halls for those who may want to be part of kind of a living, learning community? I think the residence halls were, are a great opportunity to really connect with the community, Ursuline community. Um, I will tell you my son, and he was a guy, so he was in the residence hall and he loved it. And I will tell you that when he got married two years ago, all of the students that he went to school with, he had probably seven or eight guys that were in the residence hall with him at the time. They all ended up being in his wedding. He had a huge number of people in the wedding and they stayed connected. So I think the advantage of being in the residence halls is you have an opportunity to strongly connect with the students, you have those or your peers and you have an environment where you feel connected to the college. Now certainly, you know, I, I told you that my daughter was there and she commuted back and forth and had strong connections as well. But I think the advantage is you've got a 24 seven support system there that provides you with a focus on nursing. And, and I will say that it's a little different than some of the res other residence home because the rigor of a nursing program is a little bit different than some of the other programs. So it gives you just the support you need and the studying and the resources. And we have nursing tutors as well 
that oftentimes work into the evening. So it's nice to be able to stay around because we have a couple of nursing tutors who work 11 to 7.30 or 8 o'clock at night so that they're available to students. Great. Um, and also, if a student is interested, when you're filling out your housing questionnaire, one of the questions is, would you like to live on the nursing floor? So if you would like to be surrounded by other nursing students or live with another nursing major, that's a great opportunity to opt into Absolutely. the community too. Thank you. So that wraps up the questions that we had. Oh, one just came in. If you have college credits in high school that can relate to nursing, does it make it harder or easier to get into the program? I don't know that it makes it harder or easier, but it helps accelerate your, your time in the program. We have had students who have come with College Credit Plus who have entered right into the nursing program, have not had to take any prerequisite here at Ursuline, but have entered right into it. And those students have adjusted just as well as the students who have gone through the entire program or have taken a little bit longer time. So I think the advantage to, to the person is one cost, you've already acquired all of those, those credits. And secondarily, the time frame. I mean, when you're thinking that the average nurse makes approximately $60,000 a year, every bit of time that you can shave off of getting to that $60,000 a year is a benefit, even if you're paying for, edu or for tuition. So I think that it's a wise thing to do. It definitely provides you with the preparation you need to enter into the nursing program. And Julia, Ursuline will accept any transfer credit from um, that is a C or higher. So as long as you earn a C or higher in those courses, or if you're taking AP exams, if you earn a three or higher in those AP exams, we will transfer that credit um, to either your core curriculum or your major. Great question. All right, we'll give it a second to see if anyone else sends in any last questions. But I want to thank everyone who's joined us today. Um, we've definitely learned a lot. One other question. Alex would like to know, um, a lot of students are taking their prereqs through Portage Learning. Do we accept classes through Portage? We do. And Dwayne could talk a little bit more about that, but we definitely accept the, the credits for, or the uh, courses from Portage. Mm -hmm. Good. Great. Wow. Like I said, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Sharpneg. It was great to hear from you and hear a little bit more about our nursing program here at Ursuline. So thank you, and we'll be hearing from you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.